painful. There's a bullet inside my head. It's it's not coming out. If it does, it could also cause brain damage. Powerful. At the end, I don't win anything. With you going to jail or not, my son is still not coming back. Purposeful. This crime that occurred was planned, premeditated, terroristic in nature. Holding back tears during sentencing, 16-year-old Kevin Martinez was sentenced to up to 20 years in prison for his role with nine other suspects in a drive-by shooting March 7th outside of East High School. Three cars and dozens of bullets ended with the death of 15-year-old Jose Lopez and it severely injured two East High students, Camry Ortega and Jessica Lopez. If I could have done something different that day, I would have talked to the other guys and tried to pull them out of the situation or encourage the others not to go. I wish I would have said something that day and not stayed quiet. I regret the decision every day. The mother of Jose, Deborah Perez, told Martinez his regret is an opportunity her son will never have. Where is my son's second opportunity to go to college? To actually do what he wanted to do? Lopez and Ortega fought for their lives after being innocent bystanders and provided powerful recommendations. I feel like they should not be let free anytime soon. It's not fair to us. I almost died as well. The two victims may have survived, but Ortega reminded Martinez that his role will impact her life. I can't do um, many things anymore because it would cause permanent damage to, to my brain. Addressing the court in a shirt reading champion. Ortega stood tall like one and offered Martinez some of the same hope she used to battle back from a bullet in the head. But you need to make the best of this world. I believe I believe you can you can come out of this and you can become a better a better man and better human in this world. Compassion for a group that their victims may not have been provided in a moment that changed many lives forever. I get to live every day. <laughs> feeling so bad for having a little bit of joy when I do something with my boys because I'm missing one. And three more suspects are scheduled to be sentenced March 30th. Another three will head to trial in the spring. The remaining two are being tried as juveniles.